Hello, hello everyone and welcome. Today I would like to talk with you about the fear of fear. I really want to talk about uh, this topic with you because I know that a lot of people struggle with um, anxiety with physical symptoms and I have struggled myself and believe me it is so difficult to move forward in life when you have those uncomfortable scary um, feelings. So. I am sure you have heard these words before. Where you put your focus, it will grow. And this is very, very true. If you have an anxious thought and you put your attention, your focus on that thought, that thought, it will grow. And it will bring more of those thoughts, more of the negative thoughts. If you have the sensation of throwing up, by putting your attention to that symptom, to that sensation, it will make you feel more scared, more fear. Fear of throwing up, it will grow bigger. And the same applies to all other symptoms. Now, grounding techniques work. They can help you in those moments because it's distracting the mind. But if you want to overcome anxiety, to control anxiety, this is not enough. What this technique does is helps you to relax, but it doesn't solve the real problem. All of the symptoms, the sensation an anxious person experiencing is experiencing are very, very uncomfortable and very scary. The symptoms show up when a person is thinking, is imagining that something dangerous can happen, that they are not safe, that something bad can happen, that they cannot handle that thing. And because of this, because, the, because of the negative thoughts, the body is reacting because the mind and body are connected. The symptoms can show up if we have um, good thoughts, if we have positive thoughts. Now I would like to share with you some of the things that helped me overcome the fear of my symptoms. The first thing it was to learn about anxiety, what it is, why I have it. Another thing that helped it was to build my confidence and my self-esteem. Another thing it was to um, understand and accept that in order to not fear so much about my symptoms, I needed to accept them instead of fighting with them. And the more I was practicing this um, technique, the smaller the fear was getting. It is easier to accept something than fight with something. Another thing that helped me it was to understand that thoughts are not facts. And instead of focusing on my fear, I worked on solving, um, on looking for solutions to my fears. Instead of letting the fears to control me, the anxious thoughts, the worries, I worked with them. Another thing that I uh, did, it was to practice of being aware. I had to work on this, to be aware of my thoughts. I needed to be aware to see if the thoughts that I, they were coming uh, when I had to do something that I thought it was dangerous were thoughts that I had before. Because if they were thoughts that I had before, I knew that there is no point to fight with them. There is no point to pay attention to them. Only if they are new thoughts, I would uh, interact with them and I will engage with them to see if it, there is something that I can do to, um, to solve. The same way we have learned the alphabet, we have learned to read, to write, to drive, to walk, to cook. Um, we have to learn to practice, to put our mind to focus on the good things in our lives the good things about ourselves, on the positive things in our lives, on the things that we want for ourselves and for our lives instead of the things that we do not want. To be less anxious, we need to learn what anxiety it is, from where it's coming from and why. Because if we learn these things, then we will be in control then. 
these things are necessary to learn if we want to live a happier life, a calmer life. And the most important thing that helped me with uh, overcoming the fear of the symptoms, overcoming anxiety, it was to work. And believe me, it, you need practice for this. It was to work on rewiring my mindset, my anxious mindset rewire, change, shift my negative beliefs about how the world works, about other people, about myself. The what if thoughts are keep coming and create anxiety and if you don't solve the beliefs, if you don't understand these things, how the mind works and if you have these negative thoughts, then of course you will have symptoms too. For this reason, it is so important to learn about anxiety. Only by doing these things, you can reduce anxiety. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Take care of yourself and of your mind.